So in this video we'll be creating a bash script that will allow us to check the availability and uptime of, of a given website just to illustrate what it is actually possible to create in just a few simple lines of scripting. So first off we'll be creating our file so we'll be saying touch and then we'll say uptime script that is h then we'll just check that it's created using the ls and we can see that it's here if we execute this let's see the access right so we need to be uh, changing the command for this so we'll just say uh, five and then our uptime script and if we execute this particular file nothing should happen because there is nothing in it it's basically just a, a blank file but now we need to just access the file and change that so we can quickly uh, open this file in the finder and then we'll just be using this uh, mousepad here in order for us to quickly edit it so first off we'll just try to see that what we're doing is actually working so we'll try to write, write echo hello and then save this so if we go back in here and execute our file it will write hello so we know that it's working and now we can get on with the actual uh, scripting of this file so instead of having it saying hello we want to uh, ask for the website we want to check so we can say insa website and then we can uh, say read and then website and let's see uh, how that works so if we run this now we can enter our website that would be google.com but in order for us to actually work with the input that we gave it we need to update our file so now we just create a variable called website but in order for us to test that the value is actually stored we can just do a quick test by printing it out so we can say your website is and then reference our variable that we created so we save this then we run our script google.com and now it prints your website is google.com so now we have what we need as at the beginning of our script so we can dynamically choose a different website every time we run the file now we need to do the actual availability check of the file so to speed things up a bit i have already written the script but we'll of course walk it uh, through it together so first off we can delete this because now we don't want it to actually print out what website we have chosen because our script uh, on these lines will do this but what we are basically doing here is again we are creating uh, a variable before we create the variable based on user input but now we are actually creating it based on a command prompt so here we are using the curl to uh, check whether a website is up or down but we do something within this so we have first the s telling the curl to run in silent mode and, mode, and then we have the l which will basically just follow a uh, redirect so if you for example uh, enter http and the site automatically re redirect you to https which is normal for any websites because they want to use the encrypted uh, protocol we will just follow along with this instead of saying that the page is down which is not the case and then we have the output uh, of the curl that will just discard uh, the par apart from of course the http code which is the one we are interested in so we want to know whether the http code is 200 meaning that the site is up and of course we'll uh, put in the variable of our website which were similar to the one we just printed out before now we're just putting it in as part of the curl command then we have a simple if statement where we check if the uh, variable status code is equal to 200 meaning that the site is up if that's the case we'll just print out website is up and the website here again is the variable that we created up here if not so meaning that we are not getting a 200 back from the web page that could be for several reasons most likely it's down or unreachable so in that case we'll just echo that the site is down or unreachable and then of course the status code it could be uh, 434 meaning that it's uh, forbidden we're accessing a resource that we can get it could also meaning mean that the page has been moved we're getting a server error 500 or something similar so this is basically what our script is doing so now we can save this and then let's try to run uh, the file again so we have the uptime script uh, sh here that we create we are still getting asked for the website such that we dynamically can dynamically can change this so 
we'll just put in Google here. And it tells us now that Google is actually up. So let's try to do this again. And then instead of Google, we'll just put in something random that will probably not work. Uh, example page. And here it was, of course, a broken URL that we gave to it. So the curl got back code 000, which is not 200. So our if statement got triggered saying that this might be down or unreachable because it basically doesn't exist. So this was a simple uh, way of creating a, a bash script that you can uh, execute from the terminal. You can also uh, make this execute, for example, every five minutes if you have a web page where you want to be alerted whenever it's down. And then you can add further on this script, for example, to send you an email or do whatever uh, is needed in order for you to get uh, at, uh, notified uh, when your page is down. But of course, you can create many other scripts as well. You can uh, create scripts that go through the logs, search for different aspects in the logs, monitoring. You can also automate different kind of uh, things on the uh, computer. So if you are doing something on a regular basis, you can most likely create a script for it in a few lines. And then you will basically save yourself a lot of time by just having a script doing it instead of you doing it all the time. So this was a small example on how to create a bash uh, script in Linux. See you next time here on Vinslow Academy.